Jack Shoefish, and today we've got a drunk purchase. So this is a video <laughs> showing how drunk that is. How drunk? <laughs> what you shouldn't do when you're drunk. <laughs> right. So today we've got. I'll show you what it is. I zoom in on that. That's how that much it cost me. Uh, right. Keep still. I think I've got a bit more. How much is it? In case the punters can't see that. More than a bloody pint of beer. I'll tell you that much. Thirty-six. What? Thirty-six ninety-nine. Thirty quid. I'm more disgusted with you now. Um, it is a, I gather you pronounce that, Shaolong Mini. Shaolong. Shaolong. Yeah, Shaolong Mini Cannon. <laughs> we'll shoot you in the eye, Charlie. <laughs> you didn't get flagged by YouTube I know, for that I one. Know, I won't, I won't no, that. you leave that one in. Oh, I mean, um, that's a Napoleon racist. Uh, metal replica desktop cannon. Right. right. And, have you shot it yet? Well, no, because that's designed yeah. like an absolute I'm, pig. I'm jumping the gun there, excuse the pun. Like that right, that's what explain everything. The traditional, good for English, nothing, good for nothing instructions. <laughs> Been translated from Chinese, because you can tell, because it's bad. Badly. But basically, all the information is in this. Don't obtain to this canon. Right, let me just uh, change the camera angle out, guys. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, look alright. That's your I presentation mean, box. It's smaller than I was expecting. Yeah. I just thought you might have been able to blow some doors down or something, but. No, I thought I was going to be able to breach some doors with it, but obviously well, not. Alright, so you get these. The that is someone's back door, I think. And the first thing I thought is, oh, nice, they run on 177 BBs, right? Alright, so but, what are they then? <laughs> these are like 1.4, or like. No, they're smaller. So they're they're literally like on one they're like one millimeter BB. So they wouldn't. Can you buy them or? Like well, no. The problem is they've made this, so you can't put one seven seven BBs in it. So you'd have to go Can to China. Official ammunition. To get it. Oh. Right. So. So yeah, it looks cool. For so what were you drinking when you bought this? <laughs> Meth. <laughs> Methylated spirits, by the looks of it. I shouldn't mock you, mate. I bought some tough stuff in my time. But, and it, oh, oh, let me get to the description. Good paperweight. I mean, we, we did do a brief little look at this on the end of a podcast, but... Um, right, yeah, but that was yeah, that was far in, yeah, so just in case anyone couldn't bit. handle it. Yeah. Right, in the, uh, about this item, uh, what was that? So... I'll let you do the explaining. I just want to see how yeah. and stuff. Oh, I think that said something like hand. Oh yeah, craftsman hat, craftsman master handmade. Right? Anyone know anything about firearms? That's a. Let me zoom in on it. That is not master craftsman handmade. If you know anything about firearms, any gap is just going to create back pressure. Yeah, anything that's uh, meant to be master master craft made is uh, that's a bit too much slop for uh, anything that's meant to be so called classed as probably a firearm over here, like because it shoots a projectile underneath. Right, I'll leave the camera here while you. Um... So, and it's not designed like a normal cannon either, like especially because you breach block is useless. But you've also got that in it. Oh, so what the hell? Uh, so, <laughs> so your cannon's got like an internal chamber to so it. Should you load that first and then put so that I, in? So what or? I think you do is you load that like a little bit of tissue paper or something and then yeah. cram one of these in. Obviously I ain't got no black powder because you need an actual separate license to get in. We talked about this. I think that is just a, like a certificate that has for black powder. Look at that. Yeah. What is that? That don't fit. Right, so... So... I gather this is what you load uh, for, the ball go in the other for paper, yeah. and then the ball goes uh, in there. Right, right, right. So you load that other thing That's with the charge to shoot it separately, yeah? Yeah, so I can... but... Using black powder, that's, that's a powder. Mm. And I suppose they must have a little... What you say, a little bit of cloth or, it's got, it's got, or something like that. You've got to be able to do something with it, but anyway. So that's that bit, which is just seems like a useless design when it comes to making a bleeding cannon. But this bit also. So how do you actually light the end? Then is that like, like a fuse thing? Is it? Oh, I don't know if the camera will get it. Let me get my 
light on my phone. No, you're going to need some light on this as well. Yeah, I can see it quite well though, mate, if you just turn it this way. Oh yeah. Right, can you see that channel? Yeah, on the, keep it, just keep it still. On Let the it back down and keep it right. On, yeah, but you've got to get that. There's a little channel on the left hang, hand side. Hang on, I'm out of focus. No, hang on. This, this can only go in so far and then it go blurred. Right, I'm right. zoomed as much as I can. Right, well, I'll pull out this way. This is fucking easy. Right, you see that, that groove? Yeah. In there, and that's yeah. you're meant to be able to run a fuse down that yeah. into the back bit, but there's no commercial made fuse that actually fits in that groove, <laughs> that's too small. <laughs> so, the only people I've actually found on the internet that's fired one of these things is someone has took a Dremel to it and widened it to the smallest fuse you can actually buy, which I think is like two mil or something. Right. Right. So, these are basically useless. Yeah. Didn't you say you'd send one with that back bolt shot off? Oh yeah, I gather someone put, um, I gather they put smokeless powder instead of uh, black powder. And what's the difference? Uh, well, smokeless is like... Got more power in it? Yeah, or? don't quote me on this one, but I gather no, that's, I that's, that's around that. about double of the pressure, maybe even more of what black powder combusts at. Right. So that just cleans, I've seen pictures where this, where this thing, this little lever has been sheared off completely and that's yeah. just shot the breech block straight out of the back. Mm. So I'll just said probably that's a could be really dangerous. That's I, such a bad it, design. It, yeah, I wouldn't bother to try to shoot it. No, I wouldn't, but well I might. And if I want to blow it up. For paint white, though. Yeah. So um Red matches as well, maybe? Just for laugh? The fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. I think I'll go yeah. fireworks. But yeah. Fireworks and a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> a big shiny helmet. Yeah. Right, and also when I got this, all these little screws you see, these little hex screws. Yeah, Chinese quality control at its best. Oh, they, they were loose, they weren't even close to finger tight, so I went round and tightened them all up. And wheels that. and they came off your can. Yeah, and I'm, this is a bit, it's obviously in, like, there's this, a, got, got a slight bow in it. That's just Chinese quality honest, all over. That's sure, is that what you're trying to yeah, say? Yeah, pretty much. Don't buy crap when you're drunk on the internet. No. Um, especially not off. Amazon or any eBay, anything uh, like that. I think, is it Amazon's fault that you got enticed? I mean, well, that's what they're designed to do, is entice people, aren't they? Yeah, you blame but, a retailer when... Psh, well, you know, a retailer should have some should type blaming, of... should be blaming the bear maker who got your person. Well, I don't know. I can't, Where'd you draw the line? I'd rather have bear than Amazon, so I'll blame Amazon. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm getting at is, like, if you are got a companies say like Amazon and you're promoting all these things because I think this was a promoted product so obviously the seller had bought promotion on the on the site and uh, it's got to be some type of quality control like, you know what I mean if someone blow their hand off of one of them Amazon will drop that like a little yeah. balloon and say oh no I ain't verified and but even sticking to like say British trade and standards that doesn't really does what it says on the tin it's got a coat mark on the box or anything Any no, of course it hasn't no it's got a little no, so communist flag mark on the box. Chairman Mo approved. It's, it's uh, Red Army approved. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is just an absolute. I I, I wouldn't want to fire it. So I'm, what's it called then, Daz? Guess what's the total name of the product? So this is um. It's basically a miniature Napoleon cannon desktop Imagine thing cannon. but that is Supposed and fire. these are all made in China so they're all got names like Come on, hold the barcode up let's shame them like uh, Shaolong Mini Napoleon hold it up to the camera so we cannon. can shame we can shame them do not buy well we, are we allowed to say that do not buy what? this product no could they sue us for hey, keep it still mate they'll just they'll just see joy our... did you get much joy out of it I say joy on it joy cool joy yeah K Joy, that's what I say. Shit. Should I say KY Jelly for you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Depends. You're the one that in introduced me to it. <laughs> no, no. We better end this video right here. Team Lands, fellas. Right. Right, um, yeah, so anyway, right. don't get drunk and buy useless gimmicky crap like this because. It's fine to get drunk, but don't drink yeah. and dr shop. Yeah. That's so, almost worse than drinking and driving. Well, no, drinking time is worse. <laughs> no, we didn't want to talk about that. I know you wouldn't like that one. But no. yeah, that's crap. So, um, that's as good as a paperweight, but yeah. I wouldn't want to fire the thing. Okay, so... so um, don't yeah. get drunk and go on the internet and buy crap. I'm sure everyone's got a drunk purchase story. So, if you have, stick it in the comments. I'd like to laugh over it.
and I'll even have a sip of beer while we do it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my lovely purchase. Um, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.